Villager isn't a character known for having a strong combo game, and he doesn't usually deal a lot of damage on average. But Villager's low damage output is exactly why it's important to squeeze out the most percent you can out of every hit. Today, I'll show you some underused Villager combos that you may be missing to optimize your punish game. When people think of Villager combos, the first thing that comes to mind is probably down throw forward air. This is obviously a bread and butter, but this combo can be awkward and unreliable on some characters in DIs, especially when you try to chain multiple fares or when there are platforms nearby. I think Up Smash is often a more reliable combo starter at low percents for a few reasons. Besides doing more damage than down throw, you can also decide where to send your opponent with slingshot, giving you a better positional advantage. Whether you're facing the ledge or not, you can always send your opponent into the corner with either forward air or back air. You can also combo it into Axe, which down throw usually can't do on DI away. <laughs> Alternatively, if there's a platform above you, you can combo it into double up air by delaying the first up air a little bit. I usually prefer to slingshot combo, but the choice is yours. Finally, up smash into single up air can work until high mid percents, but don't settle for it at lower percents when you can do something better. A lot of villagers' moves send at angles which can lead to platform tech chases, like Nair, Slingshot, and Down Throw. Depending on timing, I like to tech chase from below with either Falling Up Air or Up Smash, both of which can combo into another Up Air. Another useful option, especially from Down Throw, is to land on them with a Nair. If they miss the tech or tech in place, you can combo the Nair into Jab, Axe, or Forward Air depending on percent. If they tech roll, you may still have time to cover it with a dash attack. The late hit of Nair is a powerful combo starter. We've already seen how landing Nair can combo, but hitting someone from below with weak Nair can also combo into up air, slingshot, or another Nair depending on your position. Lloyd isn't generally a combo tool, but it can help you get some good damage. Many good players will try to dash grab you through your Lloyd startup in neutral. If they're a little bit off on their timing, throwing out a jab will let you combo it into the Lloyd, which you can convert into Slingshot or Axe. It's also useful to recognize situations where your opponent randomly gets hit by Lloyd, since you can lead it into big damage or even a kill. These are the main ones I wanted to cover in this video, but this is just scratching the surface of Villager's combo game, and I encourage you to get creative and mix and match different routes. As a little treat for making it to the end, I'll show you some silly combos to sign off. Let me know what topics you want me to cover next, and thanks for watching.